Okay, everybody, welcome to another Feature Friday. We are going to use the Inventory Receiving mobile application, which is brand new for Application Suite version 8.10. So, get your tablet out, load up the applications, and let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so let's take a look at the Inventory Receiving application. So I'm casting my tablet, and you can see it's a new application down here towards the bottom. When we go ahead and open that application, the first thing you'll recognize is what you see in the list are your open purchase orders. I'm going to check for updates here, and lo and behold, I have a new purchase order to receive against. As you scroll down the page, you see some descriptions of these purchase orders that are awaiting receipt. And I'm going to use the one at the very bottom. You'll also notice there's some icons in the lower left corner. These icons relate to the different sections that you'll see when we actually open this purchase order. Now you see the familiar receive, inspect, return, any receipts, and then of course your ability to avoid receipts. If I click on receive, I can see what I should be receiving. So I have two items here. One I'm expecting 10, and the other I'm expecting 5. If you'd like, if the item record has an image on it, you can open up the image and actually see what you would be receiving. So then it's a simple matter of, of entering or verifying that what you have in front of you is also what you expected. I'm going to say that I received 10 of the first one, but I'm going to say that there's a problem with the second one. I only received three, which means the vendor owes me two. I go ahead and make that entry. I receive the three. I save my two receipts. And it creates a pending receipt, if you will, for those two that I am still owed. If I go back a step, I can go take a look at the receipts that I have so far, and you can see that I have received the 10, and I've received 3. Now if I go all the way back to the main screen, and refresh, or check for updates I should say, we will notice that we still have 5 records, but now the status has changed to some parts have been received. Maybe some time goes by, or embarrassingly, I find those other two items in the box. I can come back to this record and say there's the two. I have found them or they have showed up. And then I simply click Save. And now this particular PO has been fully received. If I check for updates now, I have one less PO to receive because that one is complete. Okay, so now for all the smarty pants out there in the audience, uh, the question might be, what if I'm receiving rotating items? So for rotating items, if we scroll on down the list here, uh, I'm going to go to a particular PO where I've actually ordered some uh, rotating items. And once you uh, start the receiving process, that is as you would expect, but the difference is that your receipts are going to end up into a waiting for, waiting for asset status or waiting to become an asset status. You'll have to then go back into the traditional application to uh, then serialize those assets depending on your company policy and stuff, which will then clear the uh, receipt into a complete status and then you go from there. So you're not able to serialize the assets using this particular application at the moment. And just a final thing to mention is as the mobile users are receiving against those purchase orders uh, out there with their mobile device, of course that information works its way back to the managed server and is available to the people who are sitting at their desk waiting for that information. So to illustrate that, I'm in the purchase orders application. I'm going to go ahead and open up that number 18 purchase order that we received those two items against and go ahead and click on that and you're able to see down here that the receipts are complete for that particular purchase order.
And that's it. Well, that wasn't too bad. Pretty straightforward. Not all that different than the traditional application that you're used to. So hopefully it was helpful, and uh, we'll see you next Friday. Thank you.